Hi everyone, welcome to Drone View, the channel which provides you with a drone's view of some of the interesting secretive buildings and businesses in the UK. Today we're at a roundabout in Blythe, Northumberland, exploring a wartime bunker that has links to chemical warfare, torpedoes and the Cold War. The history of this bunker is very interesting so keep watching. Hidden in plain sight on this roundabout in Blythe is a building that most people just drive by daily and don't even know exists. Broadway Circle Roundabout is home to a World War II bunker, initially built as a gas decontamination centre. Built in the late 1939 or early 1940s by the local council as part of their legal duty to provide air raid and gas protection centres for the population as the UK feared Germany would use poison and chemical weapons on civilians during World War II. Fortunately, this never happened. The gas decontamination centre, as you can see, was a purpose-built, single-storey, sunken structure. The exterior of the building has a reinforced, overhanging, concrete blast-proof roof, solid bomb-proof walls, airlock doors at both ends, and fixed windows all designed to resist a gas attack. The windows on this centre have been bricked up and other changes have been made to the structure. For example, there used to be a tower with an air raid siren on top, which used to be tested on a Friday morning at 11am. The interior of the bunker would have had multiple rooms, including an undressing area, shower facilities, a decontamination, drying rooms and dressing rooms. The bunker has always been a mystery to local historians. It has been identified as an underground storage facility for torpedoes and ammunition for the Blythe Battery, complete with a tunnel to deliver it to its destination, which is over a mile away. It's also reputed as being the headquarters for the Barrage Balloon, a vital part of the UK's air defences during the Second World War, where Barrage Balloon's large structures about 19 metres long and 8 metres in diameter partly filled with hydrogen and deployed at altitudes of 5,000 feet, were very effective against aerial assaults. Unconfirmed reports say the area is laced with interconnecting tunnels which run along the beach under the dunes and towards the decontamination bunker. If anyone can confirm if these tunnels exist, it would be great. Drop a comment in. The decontamination centre was reactivated in 1952 as part of the Cold War and was known as the Blythe Area Control. It remained operational until the Civil Defence Corps was disbanded in 1968. The building is now used by Blythe Army Cadet Force. If you have any information on the site, please leave them in the comments. I hope you've enjoyed watching. Please subscribe, drop me a like.